Together for SRH is a catalytic funded project, meaning short period funded project, uh, but with high impact. This was piloted in eight districts uh, with the framework or UN agencies for uh, including UNAID, UNICEF, WHO, UNFPA. The focus is on optimizing the resources that already exist to deliver an integrated package to beneficiaries. It was evident that it's high time we move into having a client come to a health facility and they receive, they use the same opportunity to receive as much services as possible. When you come, they will test you for HIV, they will give you a family planning, and the service that you came for, you will also be given that service. UNAIDS are working with HISP and the Minister of Health was to ensure that the eight districts have the capacity to have the quality data and the data is utilized. Data management has been quite a challenge in the past, moving from the paper-based systems to the electronic systems. It has taken us a while. The HIS program has helped us drive that further. And uh, as we speak now, uh, most of our facilities are able to you know, analyze their data, they are able to make use of it. The issue of gender-based violence, we were not referring our clients. But now we know where to refer such cases. We uh, integrate well with the police, FIDA, we have uh, Action Aid and other partners. The clinicians are already documenting uh, issues to do with GBV in the relevant registers and even some of the facilities didn't have registers. Personally, I didn't know what uh, accessing DHS I2 was. People used to talk about data elements. I didn't know what this were. In terms of the integrated programming, we didn't have a full picture of what the integrated indicators look like. But after the project interventions, we clearly see the aspects of integration within the data, right from uh, antenatal service provision through family planning, basically I would say through the continuum of care. The first ANC attendance was very poor. By then, the statistics that was there in 2019, when we could download our data as a facility, we could only perform 30%. But as I talk now, when I tell you that at least we had 65%, that is a very great improvement. Every midwife here is now interested in data. Everyone is accountable for what they are doing. They all write. And the whole department, they participate in reporting. They participate in compiling of the reports. They don't leave the reports to one person. But now, these midwives, when they are doing the work, they look at the target. That this is the number of pregnant mothers that we are supposed to have. They normally go to the Chizinda lot there, and even the radio talk shows. They talk to these mothers to come and get services. We use it to deliver mothers, they never use it to come back. We gave it a priority, and now, at least when we deliver 800 mothers, at least 700, they have to come back. In data use, what we have done so far is to come up with the performance review meetings with the team. We identify key indicators. Every year, I make sure I generate targets for each facility, and we agree using our catchment population. So as we sit for our review meetings, we are now trying to uh, assess whether we are performing towards achieving the targets. As a program, we generated uh, the SRH HIV GBV scorecard, which we apply at facilities on a quarterly basis. That target of 70%. Our leaders at district level are able to appreciate when we tell them about the red being poor, the yellow being fair, and then the green being good, they are also interested in seeing that the reds improve to either yellow and to green. When you actually analyze this data using the scorecard, you get to see actually where you've been and where you are 
and where you want to head to. I used to handle six or seven facilities. I would reject report for over 60 facilities in one month. Right now, in a month, when monthly reports are delivered, I reject less than 10 reports. Before, we that the people are not very much important to the people. But now, after the project, we were recognized by the community members. The time when we had the training on DHIS2, I was only unable to what? To enter in the information on the what? On the DHIS2. But now as we speak, I've gone beyond. I can be able to what? To download data, make graphs out of it. When I formulate my graph, a petition will just come and say, oh, this month we got 70 mothers. But out of these 70 mothers, only 50 were tested using dual kids. I have grown through this project because it has opened my mind as personally. Right now, I have enrolled to do some basic or fundamental online DHIS2 uh, uh, trainings. The program has been um, supporting these main areas in order to Im uh, improve the capacity of the um, health workers. The program supported us with the data. Of course, uh, uh, the DHSI2 requires internet data for us to access and manipulate it. Received the MIFI. We were given a computer. We received a projector. Moving forward, there are aspects that the project has been supporting, like airtime, like data, and so on. Those ones, um, we have to integrate them into the district plans. The recommendation one to the district is that we have to take this on since we uh, factored in sustainability in the first instance. We should also broaden the scope. There are some facilities that are doing well that we would wish to, to be accommodated if the, the subsequent phases could allow. Impression scope has been tight, so you find that sometimes you go to the facilities and you have to rush through some of these concepts. So if we are given more time to implement, because six months is really short, that's why I liked initially when you said you're using the methods, because you, they, they, much as we were supervising them, they were doing more of the hands-on. I would expect the implementing partners to continue supporting financially, materially. Develop an Android system where a doctor can clock patients using his phone and enters the system using his phone. As HISP, uh, this journey of four years has been a very fruitful one. I'm very happy to see that the lives of the biostatisticians, the mesos, the, the DFPs that we are working with, their knowledge has grown. I'm not at where I was regarding data management. I'm fully mentored. I can stand and be a biostat for the division. To sit in office and monitor data being entered, being managed from um, the different facility, it makes me feel proud. Being at the forefront of gathering data, we feel very good. And we feel that our effort is recognized. In the National Joint Review Mission, we actually got an award from the Honorable Minister, Dr. Jane, for example, uh, VHT quarterly reporting. The focus of this intervention was to see that those critical indicators that center around sexual reproductive health are integrated in the district health management information system. I would say with confidence that right now all the 27 facilities can report at the facility. I feel very satisfied and fulfilled. Uh, that I've been able to make a positive impact on, on some of the individuals who have been part of this project.